Yeah, six news reporter Bailey Bates talked to a Waco Jewish clergy member about the kind of safety elements they use and why it's so necessary. With all the unknowns in the hostage situation at a Jewish temple, many didn't know how large the threat would be. Were other congregations or places of worship going to be next or impacted too? Fortunately, the threat at the time was only to the North Texas synagogue, but now it's about being prepared. Cantor Monica Odeski at the Temple Rodolf Shalom in Waco says the hostage situation happened too close to home, but it's showing people that the type of act isn't isolated. On Saturday when this happened, she says most congregations would have had some type of deterrent. She says if there is any type of service or event at the Waco Temple, they have armed security at the door, but they're looking into more elements. We've started taking some measures and talked about sending select individuals to do some more higher end training. There is uh, always security, uh, armed security uh, that's from part of the the uh, the police out there where we didn't do it halfway. It's it's uh, because it is a real threat. Odesky tells me the threat to the Jewish community in this country right now is frightening and the need for security has escalated. Tonight on 6 News at 10, we look deeper into the types of security places of worship are offering and also the conversations that this hostage situation started. Reporting in Waco, Bailey Bates, 6 News. Mm.